21st Century Expeditions here. I was out here exploring at Seminole Ranch Conservation Area and I came across this Indian kitchen midden or shell mound. So let us go check it out. The surface of the mound you can really see the distribution of shells here, a variety of shells. Mostly mussel here and secondary freshwater snail. You see where the animals have dug in here and kicked it up. Have a bottle of booze here. It probably just floated in here and landed on this mound because it's a high point of the uh, St. John's River floodplain, but someone possibly could have walked out here and you know and got drunk. You can see the contour of the mound and the slope. Looks like I've made it to the peak of the mound here. Has some petrified shells here. Calcium carbonate of the shells acts as a cement and over time the, the shells and the soil content fuse together and form a rock. You can see the interesting bark of the hackberry tree. The hackberry itself was part of the Native American diet. Here is a mussel, a freshwater snail, and a pottery fragment here. Indians would have discarded the shellfish they ate and any broken pottery or bones from animals that they had eaten they would uh, toss into the earthen mound to help it compact and uh, build the mound up here are some bone pieces of bone here this could be from the time period the Indians lived here or it could just be an animal that died here uh, in recent times in ancient times that this tribe had conflict with a, another tribe that was nearby and there was a threat of war the chief would likely summon the spiritual man and the spiritual man would likely come to a high point or a place like this on top of the mound and he would go into a spiritual ecstasy and when he came out of that spiritual ecstasy then he would relate to the chief whatever image or vision that he had and the chief would use that to guide him or to lead him on what to do about the threat from the neighboring tribe. Here's a sample of the terrain. I mean there's some wax myrtle in here. The very background there there are some maple trees. I have some bramble bushes here. Probably dewberry. It's akin to the blackberry. It has some cabbage palmetto. That's our state tree there. Sable palmetto, cabbage palmetto, whatever you want to call it. And here is, is some poison ivy. I almost got my neck tangled around this. This is not the kind of plant you want to rub up against. Last time I got infected with this, I think I was itching for over a month. 